हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टूडे टॉपिक इज हिप जॉइंट डेफिनेशन द हिप जॉइंट इज अ बॉल एंड सॉकेट टाइप ऑफ साइनोवियल जॉइंट बिटवीन हेड ऑफ फीमर एंड एसिटाबुलम ऑफ द हिप बोन इट फॉर्म्स कनेक्शन बिटवीन पेल्विक गर्डल एंड लोअर लिम इट इज द लार्जेस्ट बॉल एंड सॉकेट टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट इन द बॉडी मेन फंक्शन ऑफ हिप जॉइंट आर टू सपोर्ट द बॉडी वेट ड्यूरिंग स्टैंडिंग to transmit the weight of upper body to heads and necks of femur during walking movements of hip joint are flexion which is done by sciorus major and iliacus extension which is done by gluteal maximus abduction which is done by gluteal minimus and medius external rotation internal rotation circumduction and adduction which is done by adductor longus brevis and magnus this of this is a picture of hip joint this is the lower limb and this is the pelvic girdle and this is the joint synovial joint of ball this ball and socket articulating surfaces head of femur with acetabulum of hip joint hip bone head of femur forms more than half of spare covered by articular hyaline cartilage except for small pit fovea capitis capitis for ligamentum teres second is acetabulum presents three features lunate surface acetabular notch acetabular fossa only lunate surface is articular and and covered by a by an articular cartilage ligaments of hip joint this are capsular ligament iliofemoral ligament pubofemoral ligament ischiofemoral ligament transverse acetabular ligament acetabulum liberum ligamentum teres femoris there are seven ligaments in the hip joint and this is a very important question it comes in uh, university exam it will definitely come okay uh, i had my uh, formative ass- assessment and it came in that one also so it's very important capsular ligament the capsule ligament is a strong and dense fibrous sac which encloses the joint iliofemoral ligament the iliofemoral ligament is inverted y shaped ligament which lies anteriorly and intimately blended with capsule consists of three parts lateral thick band of oblique fibers medial thick band of vertical fibers and large central thin portion pubofemoral ligament it is a triangular ligament with base above and apex below it lies inferior medially and supports the joint of this aspect ischiofemoral ligament relatively weak and supports the capsule posteriorly transverse acetabulum ligament it is a part of acetabular lig- labrum which bridges the acetabular notch however it is de- devoid of cartilage cells sixth is acetabular labrum it is a fibrocartilaginous rim attached to the acetabular margin round ligament of head of femur and ligament of teres femoris flat triangular ligament apex attached to fovea of head base two bands of either side of acetabular notch uh this notes i made by using uh this vishram singh anatomy book and some notes from youtube also stability of hip joint depth of acetabulum and narrowing of its mouth by acetabular labrum three strong ligaments are iliofemoral ligament pubofemoral ligament and ischiofemoral ligament strength strength of surrounding muscles example gluteus medius and gluteus minimus length and obliquity of neck of femur we have relations relations of hip joint anteriorly it is femoral nerve in the groove between the iliacus and sciorus femoral artery in front of the sciorus tendon femoral vein in front of pectinus okay the spelling is p s o a s but it is pronounced as sciorus posteriorly 
piriformis obturator internus superior and inferior gemelli quadratus femoris and gluteus maximus superior gluteal nerve and vessels above piriformis inferior gluteal nerve and vessels below piriformis uh this both lines mean superior gluteal nerve and vessels are above piriformis and inferior gluteal nerves and vessels are below piriformis sciatic nerve posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh and nerve to quadratus femoris superior superiorly reflected head of rectus femoris medially and gluteus minimus gluteal medius gluteus maximus lately then we have inferiorly pectinus and obturator externa this is a diagram of transverse section of the muscles okay you can make this diagrams now we have bursa bursa around hip joint seven bursas are there around hip joint four under gluteal maximus one under gluteal medius one under gluteus minimus and one under sciatus tendon arterial supply branches of following arteries medial circumflex femoral artery lateral circumflex femoral artery obturator artery superior gluteal artery inferior gluteal artery this is a diagram of arterial supply of head of femur you can make this diagram it's a very easy diagram it's the same like uh, um, the um, this blood supply of long bone it's a bit same you can make it nerve supply femoral nerve via nerve to rectus femoris a branch from anterior division of obturator nerve branch from accessory obturator nerve branch from nerve to quadratus femoris branch from superior gluteal nerve and twig from sciatic nerve then we have clinical clinical anatomy this location of hip joint in that we have two congenital congenital dislocation and acquired dislocation congenital dislocation is very common occurs due to joint capsule is loose by birth hypoplasia of acetabulum and femoral head acquired dislocation is un- uncommon occurs during automobile accident osteoarthritis old age disease Perthes disease, pseudo coxalgia, clinical condition characterized by destruction and fluttering of head of femur with an increased joint space in radiograph. Thank you guys. So this was for hip joint, and if you have any doubt, comment it in the comment section, and I'll definitely reply. And if you want the notes, you can pin me on my Instagram channel, and I'll send you there. thank you take care and by the way um this routine i know you all are seeing it from so many days this i made to study but i didn't even follow one day but if you all want to follow i can make a proper routine and post it on the channel thank you